Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue celebrating the octave of Christmas, let our hearts be filled with joy so that we could share this hope to our brothers and sisters. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. 
Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in, in the highest, highest and, and on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. Good we, we praise you, we bless you, you we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord, Lord God, God, Heavenly King, King O God, God, Almighty Father, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the newness of the Nativity in the flesh of your only begotten Son may set us free from ancient servitude holds us bound beneath the yoke of sin. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. John. I am writing to you, children, because your sins have been forgiven for his name's sake. I am writing to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I am writing to you, young men, because you have conquered the evil one. I write to you, children, because you know the Father. I write to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I write to you, young men, because you are strong and the word of God remains in you and you have conquered the evil one. Do not love the world or the things of the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, sensual lust, enticement for the eyes, and a pretentious life is not from the Father, but is from the world. Yet the world and its enticement are passing away, but whoever does the will of God remains forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Give to the Lord, you families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Bring gifts and enter his courts. Worship the Lord in holy attire. Tremble before him, all the earth. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Please stand. Oh. 
day has dawned upon us. Come, you nations, and adore the Lord. Today is a great light. A great light has come upon the earth. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage and then as a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple but worshipped day and night with fasting and prayer and coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, in the Gospel passage today, we reflect on Christmas as experienced by people who are alone. Paano nga ba nagpapasko ang mag-isa? Sa mga kabataan pa naman ngayon, lagi nilang niloloko kapag nag-iisa ka daw sa araw ng Pasko. Ang tawag nila sa Pasko mo ay malamig. No? Malamig daw ang Pasko kapag ikaw ay mag-isa. Pero, paano nga ba magpasko ang mga mag-isa sa buhay? In our Gospel reading today, we hear the story of Anna, the prophetess. She was married for seven years with her husband, but she was widowed. Her husband died. And so, she stayed in the temple day and night, praying inside the temple until she was already 84 years old. But even if she was alone in the temple, praying alone for many years, even without her husband, she was not a picture of a woman deprived of love. In fact, even if she was alone praying in the temple, she was full of love. That is why when she met the baby Jesus, oh, she was full of joy, full of love to see the baby Jesus. 
and in her fullness, she was able to share to others in the temple the joy of having to be able to proclaim the coming of the redemption brought by the Messiah. You see, my dear brothers and sisters, even if she was alone, she was still full of love. Even if she was alone, she was not deprived. She was full of joy, full of devotedness that she was able to share this love to others. Kahit na mag-isa, hindi ibig sabihin kulang ka. Kahit mag-isa ka sa buhay, punong-puno ka ng pagmamahal. That is why our first reading today from the first letter of St. John, the letter reminds us not to be fooled by the love of this world. Maybe you are alone or maybe you feel alone. St. John said in our first reading, not to resort to worldly love, sensual lust, enticement for the eyes, a pretentious life. All of these promises that they will fill you with love. But instead, this sensual love will just drain you of love. That is why St. John in our first reading reminds us to avoid these things. Do not believe the world that you are lacking in love and you need to fill yourself with sensual lust. This will not fill you. In fact, this will drain you out of love. My dear brothers and sisters, today, let us be reminded of the story of Anna in the Gospel reading. She spent years in the temple alone, but she was still able to share love and joy to others. For people who are alone, for people who feel alone this Christmas, you are not lacking in love. People who are alone are not deprived of love. People who are alone are not deprived. On the contrary, you are full of love. My dear brothers and sisters, in this celebration of the Mass, let our hearts be filled with the love of Jesus so that in this fullness, even if you are alone, you can share the joy and hope of Christmas. Amen. Please stand. The prophetess Anna offered her whole life in the Lord's service and never grew tired of worshiping God day and night. Let us offer to the Father our own prayers. For every petition, let us say, God of our hopes, hear our prayer. God of our hopes, hear our prayer. That the church may be able to offer to God a fitting worship and be faithful in bringing to God the needs of the people in prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of our, our hopes, hear our, our prayer. That government leaders may be able to render quality services to their constituents for the love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of our, our hopes, hear our prayer. 
that those called to the ministries of the church may serve God with willing and blameless hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. God of our hopes, hear our prayer. That the sick and those who are persecuted may offer to God their trials and sacrifices as a fitting worship. Let us pray to the Lord. God of our hopes, hear our prayer. That the dead may join the saints and the angels in the heavenly worship. Let us pray to the Lord. God of our hopes, hear our prayer. God, our Father, you have made us for yourself. Help us to give you fitting honor by the lives we live. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in Him, God made visible, we may be caught up through Him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who touch us through our partaking of your sacrament, work, we pray, the effects of its power in our hearts, that we may be made fit to receive your gift through this very gift itself. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Chosen you.